Hello there, some time ago I got a question on how navigations in PowerPoint could be made. So I prepared this tutorial where we will make a very simple animal animation which navigates us to several photographs in our presentation. I will explain to you how to do something like this in this very tutorial. Ok, hey, so Graphics Talk did encourage me to take part in their hashtag creator to creator initiative where we designers can share designs between each other with design elements we used from this website. So I am here on Graphics Talk and I'll download some photographs. I'll go to photos and to my favorite category, nature and wildlife. So I'll select a landscape for a main background and for example a few animals which I can use. And I believe something like that will be perfect as a background. So I will straight download it and I will save it directly to my folder. For example, let's take this frog one. Boom, we have a frog and this cat. This owl definitely is a cool one. Well, do we want you dude? Well, you seem lazy. Let's allow you to take part in this as well. And I'll go straight to PowerPoint to create my design. Select my photograph and place it within PowerPoint. I will just resize it. No, dude. I'll just resize it to place it like that. Okay. Maybe like this. And I'll crop it a little bit to make it to the size of this slide. Now, how to create a menu? A menu would be very simple. I would select Insert, Shapes, and I would select a shape which I want to be my menu. Let's start with a simple rectangle. If you want to be more fancy, I wanted, for example, to make uh, something like this here. So I can also go to Edit Shape, Edit Points, and I can edit this right point. I'll edit it a bit to the right side. Okay, just so my menu looks a tiny bit more advanced. Okay, Shape Outline. No Outline, Shape Fill. Mm, what color do we want to run here? I think we want to run... We will start with black and we will simply make it transparent because this will be the simplest way. Format shape, fill and a tiny bit of transparency would be enough to make it good looking. Okay, 40% is enough. You can see this would be my menu. Now, let's call it little zoo. Little zoo, since we have three animal images here. And I will make the text on the home tab maybe a tiny bit bigger maybe a different font what do we have here let's just select something like this ctrl b to make it thicker okay little zoo actually i don't like the font so i would need to search for something more suitable okay the excel font looks really cool and let me show you how to make a menu now we need a separate slide for each menu object so i'll duplicate this slide just Ctrl C, Ctrl V or Ctrl D on this first one. And on the second slide, we want the menu to be clicked. How I would do this, I would insert shapes and insert another shape here. I would make the shape to the same size. I would click on my original shape. I would go to Home, Format Painter and paint its format over. Now I do need three text boxes because I have three different images I want to use. I'll make this maybe a bit smaller. Okay. You can go to insert and insert text boxes or again insert shapes like rectangle shapes before. Okay, I'll make three of them. One, two, three. You can see PowerPoint is helping me with the alignment. I can also click on them. I can align them and I can distribute them vertically to make sure they are of even space between them. All right, so what images did we have? A lion, an owl, and a frog. Frogger, Ollie, lion. Okay, like this. And it doesn't look well. So I can again click on this object. I can go to Home, Format Painter, and again paint this format over. You can see also the font is getting formatted over. And I think this is really cool. So you can see, since we have 40% transparency here and 40% transparency here, they are visible. If you would not like this to look like this, go to Format Shape, 
and make the transparency to 100%. With I believe, this little double transparency is okay because we can see actually those objects. Now I want to make the, the font smaller. Boom, boom. Okay, and we are perfectly prepared to the for the design. Well, now we have to link those two objects because I want to have a real link. How you can do this in PowerPoint, it's super simple. You click on this object, you go to insert, and just as I would insert a shape, an icon, I could insert a hyperlink. I'll insert a hyperlink and clicking on this object will take me to a place in this document. You can have existing files, you can have a place in this document. And the place, I want it to be slide number two. Now here, as someone clicks on that, again, hyperlink, and it goes back to slide number one. Perfect. Now see, what do we have in the result? As I click on the first slide, I have something like this. As I click on it, I open my menu. As I click on it back again, I can close my menu down. And this is beautiful, because the same way I can create new links for the animals. You don't have to make things complicated. I would just select a new slide, or again, just duplicate this slide, of course three times since I have three animals. And on the first, and on all of them, I would just change the photograph to the according photograph we have. For example, let's select the owl, okay, it will look like that, let me resize it, I'll not crop it this time, because I want it to be sent to back, right click, sent to back, sent to back, and here the menu needs to look a bit different. Since the owl is the main main part here, maybe those, I mean the text, could be a little bit more grayed out, uh, like this, or they could be a bit smaller, just so mm, the viewer sees that this is the selected one. Okay? And the same way like before, here in the menu slide, because this is the main slide, this is the menu slide, and this is the content slide, in the overall menu slide, Clicking on this one will take me to slide 3. Uh, where do I have it? Insert, hyperlink, clicking on this one will take me to slide number 3. And that's maybe the difficult part because we have to link all objects. Since we have them like this, mm, on this slide, clicking on that will take me again back to the second slide. We will set the hyperlinks a bit later. Now I want the photographs. So Actually, the frogger should be the first, the Oli should be the second, okay? Take the frog, let's place the frog here, boom, send to back. Now the last one was the lion, boom, place this dude here, make it bigger to the entire slide, send to back. Okay, now I remember that the two remaining ones were a bit smaller and they were gray like this. And on the first one, those two should be smaller and gray. Okay, perfect. I'm now ready to hyperlink everything and let's make it on the example of the frog. Now, clicking on the frogger will stay on this slide. Clicking on Auli should take me to the slide number four. So I'll go to insert, hyperlink, please take me to slide number four. Clicking on lion will take me to slide number five. Hyperlink, slide, okay. And clicking on little zoo should take me back to the homepage slide, which is slide number two. Hyperlink, slide two, okay. We can decide if we want to be brought back to the first or the second slide like this. All right, we have Frogger ready. Let's continue and select all the links. Hyperlinks, slide number three. Slide number four that doesn't have to be linked and slide number five like this. And little zoo of course to slide number two or slide number one depending on how do we want it. As we click on hyperlink we already have that link because we copied that over but let's make it slide two. Frogger will take us to Frogger which is hyperlink slide number two. Oh, sorry of course I made the mistake slide number three and Auli hyperlink slide number four. Okay, finally, I can go to the first slide, I can press F5 and I can see how my menu looks. And you can see the animation is very abrupt now, 
So what I can do here, I can select all of the slides by selecting the last one, shift click the first one, going to transitions and selecting at least something like fade. You can also click uh, maybe reduce the duration and click apply to all and it will be applied to all slides. Now let's see if this is any better. Let me preview it. Yeah, well now it nicely fades in and brother, I will leave lion anywhere I want. I can go back to my little zoo and I can of course close and open this menu. Now what if you want this menu to collapse? It's actually very simple because we can use an action that each time we hover our mouse here, this will go back to this slide. Instead of having a hyperlink here, we need to select an action. So you just click action, mouse over and just hyperlink to the to slide number one it was. So we want a slide number one. Okay, and that's everything. Now, if you are on the menu and you hover your mouse here, the menu will close down. In PowerPoint, we have now the zoom options, which allows us to, to place a slide just like that. But this is only for PowerPoint 365 subscribers. We can still do this manually if you are on PowerPoint 2016 or on some older versions. You can make navigations like this and you can make the design as you want, which is also very convenient. Of course, if you also would like this to drop down here, you would need to duplicate the slide, you would need to delete the bottom part, you would need to link that again and make an action here that when I hover my mouse here, it will take me to this slide. Now, this depends on how thorough you want to be with this and how much time you would like to put into this. So yeah, this is exactly what I was able to, to create with my graphics top subscription and I'm happy to take part in the creator to creator initiative, which is both a design initiative and an offer from graphics talk, which allows you to take a seven day free trial and then extend your subscription for a really good price. If you are interested, you can see the quality of the photos are really great. So it's very convenient to use, especially that we have vectors, illustrations and photographs here which is awesome. Okay, this is how you can make a navigation, a drop-down navigation in PowerPoint. There are of course several techniques how to do this, but each one will go towards creating a hyperlink and depending how much time you want to spend on it, it will become this good. So let's take a last preview and this is my little PowerPoint navigation, which navigates us through animal photographs. I hope this tutorial answers your question and you did enjoy it. See you in the next one.